The local school is under federal investigation tonight. That's after a group claims it is discriminating against students based on their sexual orientation and gender identity. News 3's Chris Gothner has the details. Hey, Eric and Michelle. Well, that investigation involves St. John's Lutheran School in Baraboo and its policy of disciplining openly LGBT students. Now, even though St. John's is a religious school, at issue here is whether it continu can continue to receive federal funds while it maintains this policy. In late February, St. John's Lutheran School principal Craig Breitkreutz sent a letter to parents outlining changes to come in the next school year. That letter asked parents to sign a handbook agreement saying their kids will follow the school rules. But it's one rule in particular that drew a complaint from the Madison-based Freedom From Religion Foundation. Its discipline policy really would allow it to expel students just on the basis of gender identity or sexual orientation. Foundation attorney Patrick Elliott, who filed the complaint, says religious schools generally have a great degree of latitude in what they can allow and disallow. But it's when federal funds come into the picture is where he says things change. In the letter, Breitkreutz says St. John's is a Title IX school, which means it receives funds for things like school lunches in the No Child Left Behind program. That means while the school can't refuse admittance to students, quote, choosing an outwardly sinful lifestyle, it still intends to discipline and expel LGBT students. Elliott says his group sent a complaint to the Department of Public Instruction, which was forwarded to the feds because the school takes federal dollars. He says for that reason, the school should play by the feds' rules, which say students can't be discriminated against for their sexual orientation or their gender identity. If that's its religious practice, it may be able to do that, but it should forego the public subsidy that it's getting when it's using federal money in these programs. And for the Freedom From Religion Foundation, which advocates the separation of church and state, the actions of St. John's bring to mind a bigger issue. Private schools, especially schools that charge tuition, uh, should be on their own and should fund themselves. Now, St. John's principal, Craig Breitkreutz, declined to comment on this issue today. I also reached out to the Wisconsin Evangelical Lutheran Synod. That St. John's parent church, a spokesperson, didn't return my phone call today. Now, the USDA, which administers the federal school lunch program, confirmed to me that it is investigating, Michelle. All right, something to stay on top of. Chris Gothner reporting live for us tonight. Chris, thank you.